So I've been rather disappointed in the Gallagher S40 solar charge controller. At first it seemed great, and uh, then we had a few days with a lack of sun. And so this thing, I have it turned off right now, as you can see, but you check the power on it. We're in bright sun, it's charging, and it shows red. So we got our uh, 100 watt solar panel. I'm gonna leave that in the box until we need it. We've got this uh, solar connector kit. I'm not sure if it came with one, so I got one of those. We got this tiny little 10 amp charge controller, which should be fine for what we need. And then this Patriot, it's the P30, which is gonna do, um, it has three amp, three joules, 3.0 joules uh, output, which is like four something stored. So we're going to take this, these things, I'm going to build a little box, a uh, sled that I can pull around out in the pasture. And then it doesn't need to move much. It'll stay in that central location for about two months when it's in here. And then I'll take it over to the farther uh, upper pasture over here for the last about a month. And then we're going to take it down to the... Um, side slope next to the creek and set up all of our portable fencing there. So one of the reasons I'm going with a more powerful charge uh, fence charger is the one you buy from the store, the Gallagher, it has such a small amount of stored jewels that even when you set up much less fence than it says it should be able to carry, the charge just isn't that powerful. And I'm using nine strand wire, which is a blend of copper and steel it's woven into uh, this fabric, plasticky kind of fabric. And, you know, we don't have anything touching the ground anywhere. I don't have any faults. And it's still, it doesn't, you know, I don't think if the cows really wanted to push through it, they'd really feel it that much. And the pulse is so short, like so long between um, pulses that they could blow through it and they might get shocked once. So, um, you know, I'm sure there's lots of good applications for that. I'll keep it. I think I might go back and get a new battery for it because I believe the battery came a little bit weak. Um, but we will um, we'll keep it for the chickens or something and see if it works for them. But for the cows, I'm going to use this. this. We're going to make a skid out of it. Right? What's a skid? A skid is something we can drag. Alright, what are we working on? Do you guys know? You guys remember what we're working on? No. We're working on our solar charge fence charger. So we're just making a thing that'll house our battery and also house our solar panel. Uh, 
me and you, you and I. Okay, that's great. You'll see. Put this battery on here, you know what I found? I do. Take the solar panel. This will be our roof that protects it from getting rain on it. And that'll sit like that, okay? All right, and it's gonna cover the battery and the solar charge controller and everything that goes with it. All right, we're back from the barn. We brought a two by two, a two by four, and a bungee cord. Can you guys guess what we're gonna do with all this stuff? Yeah, it's hanging. No? Yeah, it is. Thank you. Let's go there. I'll get it over here, I'll measure over an inch and a half. This one down. Thank you. Watch your little fingers. Okay. Don't lose them, please. All right. Take those screws out of there. There. Make sure we don't lose the screws in the sawdust because it'll get caught up in our tires, okay? All right, so now our battery is stable enough not to go anywhere, right? Okay. pieces here. Mm, Alright, put them back in there. Huh? Alright, so the panel is about 19 and 3 quarter inches wide and we want to stick off the back a little bit. So we'll make a little mark as kind of like our minimum spot down here. some more old fence board pieces for the, from the barn so we use this here this will be what captures the panel on the bottom doesn't allow it to get out and then we'll use our bungee cord at the top to hold it down but back here we don't so you'll see this can't come out up there it's got a little hole in the back here bungee cord will grab that bungee it to itself. That'll stop it from flying out. Now let's work on wiring it. The charge controller has a battery emblem here, a solar panel emblem, and then a light bulb emblem, whatever's going out. We're just going to go from the charge controller to the battery and then from the battery directly to the, um, the, the energizer. So all these, all these pieces that I have that I'm referencing here, I will put a link to them down in my description so that if you want to copy this um, in any fashion, you're welcome to. To go from the energizer to the battery, it just has these terminals here so you can quickly disconnect them. If you want to take power away from the system, uh, it makes it easy. Our solar panel connection, this comes from the solar panel here your solar charge controller. Here we'll use this wire to go from solar charge controller to the battery. So that's what this is going to get used for. All right, the other thing I'm going to do, so they're not switching around and 
trying to go the other direction, we're going to rotate this battery around. Bring these around the side. Negative and a positive. Those are hooked up. Now, if it wanted to, and it is clicking, it's not doing anything. So we'll go ahead and disconnect them for now. Let them just sit there, and we'll get our solar panel hooked up. Because you what? I put her coat over her hands. Like what? Oh, poor Dana. She lost the use of her hands. All right, last things last. Wire this up into here. They just plug and play. Positive, negative. I hooked up last. Set this down in here. All right, it's hooked up. Gallagher unit only required one ground rod and uh, this Patriot unit here requires three at uh, the power that we're using. So we're going to disconnect this one here. We'll keep using this ground rod. But we're done with this one for now. And we're going to drive these ground rods in. We'll get these in. And have much greater grounding. This Gallagher S40 didn't have enough power, didn't have enough juice for me. I ordered some parts online. I built my own. It's got some pop, okay? And this one here, I've got a 100 watt solar, solar panel that's gonna charge it. This one had this tiny little double panel here, which is basically the equivalent of maybe two squares of this panel here. So 
being a winter in the northwest here, we have our fair share, even though we're on the rain shadow side of the Cascades, we have our fair share of cloudy days. This just wasn't cutting it, not enough power. Now the next thing is, we'll run this, we'll check the amperage now. It'll go all night long without any sun. The sun's set behind the hill over here. Um, it's not even four o'clock yet, but the days are getting longer. This panel should be able to charge that battery in there and we should be good to go. So I'll go piece by piece through every part. Uh, linked down below in the description. That way you can look at it. If you want to build your own solar fence charger, solar fence, en fence energizer, you can. This unit is a three joule unit. This is a 0 0.3 joule unit. So this is 10 times stronger than this was. It's got some heat to it.